I'm intrigued. <laughs> this is giving me anxiety. Oh my gosh. We did it! <gasps> Look at it! We did it! And today we are going to be doing a Walmart slime review. So we picked out a bunch of different types of slime from Walmart and we are just going to be reviewing them. We've done one of these before so if you want to go see that one, go check it out. It's somewhere on our channel. This is from Compound Kings. It's Neon Slime. So I have tried this type of slime before from this company. It's gotten pretty messy, so my expectations are low, but let's let's not get ahead of ourselves. Maybe it's good. This is $4. Oh, oh there's a seal. This is the slime. It's pretty good, actually. So let's take them out. Ooh, that's really bright. Okay, yeah, that's not as sticky as some of the other ones that I've tried. Let's see. Oh, that was pretty good. Yeah, so this is pretty good, actually. That's pretty nice. My expectations were low, so good job. You exceeded my expectations. Compound Kings. So this is a 7 out of 10 slime swirls because it's not sticky and it clicks, but the stretchability is a little... Mm. So it does stretch. It's just a little difficult to stretch it. And it's very brightly colored. It's quite nice. So if you let it like slowly drip, then it'll work. But, oh, that was weird. <laughs> so yeah, seven out of 10 slime swirls. Good job. Neon, squishy like slime. <laughs> Next slime. <laughs> Eight out of 10. <laughs> okay, so this is Orb Slimy Oops. I think it's a fart slime and this was four dollars and 88 cents so it's really light like these are like almost the same size and this one's way heavier than this one so i guess we'll see what this feels like Ugh. whoa did you see that jiggle <laughs> okay there's like a little bubble on top Ooh, 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 ooh. okay so this is the slime <laughs> it's Weird, I don't know how to explain it. It's not pokey. Like you poke it the same way that you would that one and it's like almost rises back up like a squishy. It's a squishy slime. It's very stretchy. It's got like a weird kind of stretch to it though. Like here, let's see. Yeah, it's like it comes back to its original <laughs> form. I don't know how to, it's like an elastic band turned into half slime <laughs> so mm, i would give this a six out of ten slime swirls because it's squishy and if you put this in like a balloon or something this would be a great stress ball when you like squish it like this it feels really nice it doesn't leave any residue it's not sticky but the stretching is weird and the poking is weird it's got a funky smell too, so. <laughs> Orb slimy oops. Oh, we didn't even test the fart ability. Oh yeah, that was a pretty good fart. <laughs> okay, I'll give it a seven out of 10 slime swirl because it did what it said it would do. Okay, next we have Nickelodeon Slime Party Cake Fun Scented. $3.97. It's like a pink slime. And in the bottom, there's little beads in it. So let's see what this feels like. Oh, that was really cool. Oh, that feels really good. Wait, ready for this? That feels so good. It smells like cake. I love that. Oh my gosh, it feels really good. Like something you would buy off Instagram. And do you see how glossy that is? Just first impressions, this is way better than the other ones. I'm just gonna say right now. <laughs> Do you see that gloss? It's so glossy. So it's really stretchy. <gasps> Super bubbly. Oh, it's kind of sticky. Mm. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> Let's see, the pokes. Definitely got good pokes. It smells amazing. And the little beads are like little sprinkles. 
It's pretty good. I could see someone buying this off of Instagram and we bought it at Walmart for way cheaper. So, ready? That's a good bubble. Look at that. It's so see-through. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ooh, okay, 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 okay. That's not too bad. I mean, this slime is a little sticky. So, the texture is great. And I would say I have some pretty slime resistant hands. Like most of the slimes that I would say aren't sticky, all my friends say it's super sticky. So maybe for you guys, this slime will be stickier even. So I would give it for me a nine out of 10 slime swirls, just in case there's a better one, just getting started. But this is a really good one. Everything else is pretty great about this slime. So let's see who our next contender is. So this is cookie dough slime ice cream. Looks and feels real. So I've never seen this before or heard of it. I'm intrigued. <laughs> the girl in the package looks very excited about the slime. So let's see what it's like. Oh, that's, oh, okay, 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 okay. So, I don't know, it's a little jiggly, I guess. Oh my gosh, okay. It won't get out. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, so first things first. It said looks and feels real. Let me just say right now, if this does not feel like ice cream. So, I don't know about you, but it doesn't really look like ice cream too. So, you had to get that out of the way, but that's not judging the slime. That's just the branding. It just smells like slime, so. <laughs> no ice cream scent. Hmm. <laughs> um. It doesn't feel terrible if you're just like going like this. It just, obviously you can't poke it because it's a jiggly slime. It's like a, almost like a water slime. You can't really stretch it. It kind of just sits there. The chocolate chips are falling out very easily. So if you want to mess all over your house, then get this slime. It doesn't look or feel like ice cream. It doesn't smell like ice cream. All you can really do with it is this. Or you can put it in a balloon and make a stress ball. I'm just saying. Do you really wanna pay $6, might I add, for this slime, just to put it in a balloon? So I would give this a four out of 10 slime swirls. There's two pity points, and then there's two points for being able to jiggle. And the idea of putting it in a, a balloon sounds like it could be nice, so would not recommend. Sorry. <laughs> So this one is by the same company that made the neon slime. This slime is $4.88 and it says Galaxy Mash. So we have fluffy purple slime and planet foam. The fluffy slime last time was the messy one, so I'm a little nervous about that, but I've never tried their floam. Today is full of surprises. Let's just see. <laughs> Oof. And then we just pop off the lid. I'm gonna take this part. I think I remember what happened last time. This part felt really good, and then we added it to this part, and it felt really bad. Yeah, because the other one's like really sticky and gross. This is really bad. <laughs> I can't even get it out. Okay, let's just try to get this out. This is giving me anxiety. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, the foam is not good. It's very sticky. Very, very sticky, okay. So I guess this is a mixing slime. I think it said on the package that you're supposed to mix and mash them or whatever. So let's just put this all together and see what it turns into. Okay, yeah, it does look like a galaxy. Okay, okay, expectations. Getting a little higher just on looks though because this still is awful as far as stickiness goes. <laughs> We're gonna try and save this. It looks really pretty, but it's very, very sticky, so. Okay, so we just added some baking soda and saline solution, and hopefully that can save this guy. It's coming off my hand, so that's a good sign. So yeah, that definitely fixed it up. So if you don't have any activator in your home, don't recommend buying this because you will never escape. You're trapped, you, you can't leave. 
<laughs> I would give this a 3 out of 10 before activation. After activation, it's definitely a lot better. It still stretches, so that's good. And it does look like a galaxy, like the package said it would. And the fluffy slime didn't get all messed up. It actually feels kind of nice. Look at that. That's super cute. That actually looks really cool. <laughs> so, slime swirl on point. The bubbles are pretty good. The clicks aren't great. The little pokey sounds. But everything else is fine as long as you activate it before playing with it. After activation, I would say like seven or eight out of 10 slime swirls. Next, slime. Galaxy Slime, Super Slime. It's the same girl from the from this one. So it's probably the same brand. So expectations are low, but <laughs> there is hollow glitter in it. Plus one point just for being holographic. This one was $5.88. So it does look kind of galaxy. So that's that's pretty good. Yep, it's definitely a it's another gooey slime. So there's like a little piece of plastic in there. I guess I should take that out. Yeah, there we go. Now we got this little mess right here. So yeah, that definitely does look like a galaxy, I guess. Here, let's get some pink in here. Galaxies have pink in them. Got mix in that pink. So this is our little galaxy of hollow glitter and beautifulness. It's definitely a jiggly slime. It feels a lot like the ice cream one, but there aren't any of those chocolate chip things. So it honestly feels a, a lot better. It's not leaving any residue. I really like it, honestly. It's pretty good. I would give this a seven out of 10 slime swirls. It's pretty great. And it has hollow glitter. Eight out of 10 <laughs> because of the hollow glitter. <laughs> Next, let's do this glitzy, squishy like slime by the same people who made the galaxy slime and the neon slime. Honestly, these kind of look the same, but this one does have glitter in the bottom and this was $4.88. Actually, I think this is probably gonna be worth it if it turns out to be good because this little one was $4 and for 88 more cents, you get like five times more slime. Oh. Ooh, ooh, that feels nice actually. So far, so good. Oh, that's so satisfying. See, oh, there's one like little dark glitter look. It's just one random purple one. This actually feels pretty good. That's pretty good. Here, let's see if we can put a bubble inside. We did it! <gasps> look at it! We did it! Oh my gosh! Oh, this is actually like really good. It has the clicks. It's really pretty. Like there's a lot of glitter in it. Honestly, worth it. But oh, let's see. We gotta do all the tests. Let's do the poke test first. Ready? Those ones were better. <laughs> that was a good one. Okay, there was a hole in it, but that was my fault. This would be a really pretty slime swirl. <gasps> yes, we did it. We did it. <laughs> pretty good. And you get a lot of it for a good price and it looks really pretty. So I'm gonna have to give this one a 10 out of 10 slime swirls. Pretty good, honestly. Winner, the final slime. This is three pounds of Nickelodeon slime. There's three colors. This was $9.97. Let's see. Let's do one color at a time and then we can mix them. So I got a little bit of green. It feels pretty good. Oh, this is so good. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, it's not very stretchy. Oh my gosh, <gasps> that's so much. Look at that. It's my little green blob friend. It looks like a Jolly Rancher kind of. Oh my gosh. So the slime is actually pretty good. Stretchier than the jiggly slimes. I feel like this would be a good slime swirl slime. That looks like candy. Oh my gosh, look at that. That looks so cool. <gasps> that was so good. That's a good one. Oh my gosh, ready? Pew, 
<laughs> we know it's good for slime swirls and bubbles. It's pretty good at clicks. This one's got like bubbles in it now, but while it was in the jar, we saw it had pretty good clicks. The only thing it's not great at is stretching. <laughs> so let's pull out its siblings. Orange. <laughs> okay, we got some, whoa, that's like neon. Okay, so this is the orange. That looks like a highlighter. Like a highlighter just melted and this is what it turned into. I'm not gonna go through all the tests because I assume they're probably the same. So let's get out the blue now. So there's some, a chunk of blue, another chunk of blue. Blue, okay. The blue I think is more opaque than the green and the orange actually. So that's interesting. They're all really pretty. So I think we should make a swirl with all of them together. So let's see if we can pull this off. Let's make like a little burrito with all of them. Okay, okay, okay. You can do it, you can do it guys. And then you roll it together like that. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. <laughs> no. ah! Ah! Oh my gosh, it's on the carpet, but I can't stop. Not now. Oh my gosh, okay, one more, one more fold, one more fold, I can do it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That was stressful! We're fine. <laughs> so that's what the slime swirl turned out to be. The orange is kind of hidden, but I think it looks really pretty. So let's do the crunch chest. Oh, that was kind of disappointing. <laughs> I didn't fold it as many times because I was struggling. <laughs> but, oh wait, let's do it ready. You can see like all the layers. That's so cool. Wow, oh my gosh, okay, so. That one was pretty good. It's not super stretchy, and I feel like that is a main component in this, the slime enus of slime. So that's gonna be off a few points, but because we got so much slime, and because it makes great bubbles and pretty good slime swirls, I'm gonna say this gets like an eight out of 10 slime swirls. So that's pretty good. Oh, it turned out really pretty in the end too. Look, it's like a teal color. The orange didn't totally ruin it. <laughs> we'll just stick this guy back in here and he'll figure himself out. <laughs> so I think this was winner number one and this was winner number two. I think this one got a nine out of 10 and then this one got a 10 out of 10. So if you're looking to buy some Walmart slime, these are my top two recommended slime picks. Comment down below if you've tried any of these slimes. Do you like jiggly slime or do you need to be more stretchy? Comment down below all your thoughts on store-bought slime. Don't forget to subscribe to see loads more videos like this one. We have tons of slime videos. So if you wanna watch those, they're everywhere. Trust me. <laughs> and until next time, bye!